Not your keys, not your coins. This is probably the phrase that you will hear in the crypto space. But what does it really mean? Hello beautiful people, hope you guys are all doing good. So in today's video, we are going to set up a Hopi wallet where you are able to store your cryptocurrencies and at the same time, show you some of the functions of the wallet that might be of good use to earn additional cryptocurrencies. So Hopi wallet is a multi-chain light wallet and this means it supports multiple chains like Heiko, which is the Hopi Eco Chain, Polygon, EVE Network, OKEX Chain, OEC, and BSC, which is the Binance Smart Chain. So what I really like about the wallet is the ease of setting up. If any of you guys own a hardware wallet, you do know that doing transactions on that is tough, setting it up is even tougher. And you'll probably need a computer to connect your hardware wallet to the computer to even access your assets. Though this brings about more security, sometimes in the crypto space, what you need is the speed of transferring tokens. Alright, so once you fire up the Hopi Wallet app, you can download it in the App Store or the Google Play Store. I'll leave links in the description down below. So when you set it up, it's going to ask you to back up your mnemonic face uh, or keys. But because my wallet is already set up and hence you won't be able to see that notification. But it will constantly remind you to back up your phrases as you run through the app. And always keep these phrases safe because it's the only way you're able to retrieve your wallet and hence the phrase, not your keys, not your coins. So once you reach the main page, um, you'll see a myriad of things which can be confusing at a first glance, but stick with me and I'll bring you through it. So the first few icons that you can see on the main page are the different chains available for the wallet. So you have Heco, um, you have Polygon, you have BSC DeFi, EVE DeFi, OEC DeFi, and much more. So by clicking onto an icon, you'll be able to explore the different D applications the apps or decentralized applications which the chain is using or being used at the current moment and it's categorized into DEX, lending, tools, games and others. So over here I'll leave this page for you guys to explore because there are so many different D apps available and into different categories as well. Um, it's too much to cover in just one video. So as you can see for this wallet I only hold my Hopi tokens in here um, but setting up a new wallet to hold different chains is pretty simple and we'll get to that in the later part of the video as well. So at the bottom of the application or the first page, you're able to see a few icons, uh, which is home, uh, and then you have the wallet page, you have the market page, browser page, and then the settings. So the home page is where we are right now. It holds all the information about the wallets that you're holding in this like wallet itself. Um, the wallet page, it will show you the current wallet that you're linked to. And as you can see, mine is currently linked to Heckle right at the top. Left hand corner, you can see it's called Heiko, Hopi Whale, uh, that's my wallet name. A whale? Exactly, a whale. And the amount of assets I have, and you're able to access to different chains as well. So by clicking onto that, you're able to change it to the Ethereum network, BSC network, Polygon, Tron, or even Polkadot. So let's say now, um, you know, I'm looking to go explore some things on the Ethereum network. I can just select the wallet, click on the Ethereum, click on it. It shows me my wallet and it shows that I have nothing in it and that is because I have no Ethereum in this wallet currently. So to create a new wallet is very simple. By clicking onto the network again, you can click a little plus at the right left bottom corner. You're able to add a new wallet. Create wallet, import wallet or watch wallet only. So at this point of time, I think it's nice to point out that Hopi Wallet actually support up to 23 different wallets and they have most of the main coins like EOS, BSC, Tron, and many, many more. So next is the market icon. And on this market tab, you can add your favorite list of the tokens that you want to watch or just track price movements as well. So on the top panel, you are able to see a few different tabs which will bring you into different pages. So we are currently in my favorites tab uh, where these are the tokens that I'm looking at. And then there is DeFi tokens, um, there's the market cap, there's a 24% exchange, 24 hour volume and new tokens being listed as well. So by clicking to any one of these tokens on my favorite list, I'm able to see where these tokens are being exchanged from. So right now I'm looking at SLP and I can find out that, oh, SLP is being traded on Uniswap much more than on Binance for the ETH and SLP pair. 
So the next icon that we're going to look at is the browser function. So the browser is similar to your Google Chrome or Internet Explorer, if anyone still uses them. The Internet Explorer to my Firefox. <laughs> so dApps are basically decentralized applications or applications on the blockchain. Um, so we are going to try out a, a very popular one like um, Uniswap on the ETH network by clicking onto it. You can see it links my wallet directly to the Hopi wallet and I'm able to transact if I do have Ethereum here. I'm able to switch Ethereum for tokens like One Inch or any other tokens that's available on Uniswap. So the last icon that we have is the settings tab. So this tab is pretty important because it's where all your passwords are, how you're going to unlock your wallet. You have things like your security center, um, your wallet management, where you can see all the different wallets that you're holding right now. So as mentioned, my Hopi wallet mainly holds my Hopi tokens and it's because I'm able to do a DPoS system where I vote for nodes that validates for transactions and in return, I do get block rewards. So we are gonna go into wallet and you can see that this is my hacker wallet right now. Um, there's a vote icon where you can vote for nodes. So we're gonna click onto it. So it brings us to a new page, which is called the Hacko Global Node Election Voting Channel. So over here by clicking vote now, and if you do have Hopi tokens, you're able to vote for any of these nodes shown on the platform. And by voting for them, you, you are essentially entering a DPoS system where you don't need to own a node, but you are able to earn block rewards. So by voting for nodes, you get a share of the block rewards as the nodes verify and create new blocks on the blockchain. So I've already voted for a node uh, because I wanted to show a new function that allows you to collect your rewards seamlessly. So, but to vote is very simple. Just click on the vote, enter the amount of 4P tokens you want to vote, and this has to be a whole number. And you, all you have to do next is to press vote. So let's say you do have 4P tokens and you do want to vote. Um, how can you go about doing it? So it's pretty simple. All you have to do is go back to your wallet. Um, you're going to press receive. It goes, it's going to show you a QR code and on Hopi Exchange, when you withdraw your Hopi tokens, do select Hiko Chain as the network instead of Ethereum because the wallet is running on the Hiko Chain. So one of the benefits of the Hiko Chain is the low fees and the fast transactions. So when I was doing the transaction, um, it only took me a couple of minutes before I received my Hopi token on the wallet itself. And once the tokens are in, you're able to vote for any of these nodes and rewards will be distributed after every epoch. But let's say you do want to use your hobby tokens for other purposes like Prime or Prime Pool. Do note that there is a three day lockup period upon withdrawal from the nodes. Um, this is just a rule that is built into the system. I have no idea why. So um, do look out for announcements. If there's a new Prime Pool coming up, you might want to withdraw your tokens so that you are able to move them back into the hobby exchange. So as you can see, I have already voted into the Hopi pool and I have about 200 Hopi tokens um, in the votes right now. And the rewards that I've gotten so far is 0.05 Hopi tokens. So one of the cool things about this wallet is that instead of pressing claim on this page itself, you can just go back to the wallet and you're able to see a little tab on the bottom right corner and this allows you to claim your rewards um, across multiple chains. So as mentioned, I only have 4P tokens here, but if you have any other chain or any other tokens or any other projects that you're getting rewards for, you're able to just collect all of them with just one click of a button. So I think this is one big benefit in the DeFi space because um, traditionally or previously, I do have some projects on the Binance Smart Chain and it's pretty tough to track where my things are because um, all these DApps are residing in another site. But I might consider moving my tokens onto this platform because it allows me to collect all my rewards at one point of time um, just by pressing one single button and I don't have to pay a lot of transaction fees as well. And that's the end of today's video. Um, I'll really appreciate it if you can drop a like, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you in the next video.